Hi, my name is Christian Montanez, Flagstaff native, born and raised here in Flagstaff. Uh, I've got just over 10 years in the medical device industry. Some of my notable projects are involved in structural heart, stent frame design, but most of my time in the industry has been spent in balloon forming, uh, which is what brings me here to POBA. Uh, we're really excited to do this series to inform you guys more about what we do here at POBA, some of the troubles we uh, encounter, teach you guys a little bit more about the materials, geometries, um, just a little bit more of the science of what we do here at POBA. Um, now that I've told you a little bit about myself, let's go take a look in the cleaner. So here we are in one of Poba Medical's clean rooms. This is an ISO 8 class 100,000 clean room. This is where we do all of our development and our uh, production as well. This here is one of our balloon forming machines. This is an Interface 2210, which we do much of our manufacturing. Um, so basically there's three essential steps to balloon forming. There is pressure, heat, and stretch. All can be applied um, in, in little interesting ways to output the balloon that the customer is requesting. And so this right here is our uh, water jacket. This actually applies heat to a heating sleeve and also cools uh, with cold water in a closed, uh, closed channel around that heating sleeve. And this is actually how we create our balloon. So um, Machine Shop will create this for us. So this is our uh, center mold, which is the actual working length of the balloon. And then these guys are actually our end plugs, which give us that cone geometry and the specified tail dimensions per our customer uh, request. So what we start with is a base extrusion um, that we spec out here based on the uh, radial expansion we need to hit, burst we need to hit, double wall, uh, some of the different compliance features that the customer is requesting. And then we will go and create what's called a parison. So we uh, heat both sides and neck this portion down and we leave what's called uh, the unheated portion or the parison. And this material here is what's actually going to become our balloon. And so this material will be loaded into this water jacket as such, and we will be applying heat and pressure to this unheated portion. We will then be stretching and applying pressure at different rates in order for that material to grow and hit that center mold and those end plugs and give us that final output that the customer has requested. So that's just scratching the surface on balloon forming. We wanted to give you guys kind of a base level understanding of, of really what it is we're doing here. On our next episode, we'll start discussing different materials um, and we'll actually be starting with the, the nylon material, which is one of my favorites. So we will see you then.